Boy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. and anime and manga contributor to Banning into Comics. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for me and Robico chapter 84. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored by Shueisha, Manga Plus, or Viz. And this is a one-woman operation, and we're struggling to keep a roof over our head at this very moment. Oh, God. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, last chapter was epic because we had... A horror movie spoof, and not just any horror movie spoof. It was like really straight out of Coraline, and I was living. I love that we had some Coraline realness going on here. But anyways, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this week. The news coming in every day is so sad, and I think more than a few people find it very distressing. Indeed, I am among them, and I spend every day frustrated with my own duke and powerlessness. There's very little, little a single person can do, and it's easy to feel like whatever you can do is pointless. But doing nothing's uh, not the answer, right? Sensei, I wonder if you are going in on virtue signaling or something else. Oh my god, if you're going in on SJWs, I will be so happy. Even if it doesn't affect anything directly, saying hello to somebody, especially cheerfully, or picking up a piece of litter you spot, it doesn't matter what it is. If we all just uh, put a little bit more kindness into the things we can affect, I think it can add up to something big, ook. What we can change is ourselves, and if we... um. And if we do, we can change the world along with us. So to, so to us making our way through this harsh world, I say, cheers, cheers. In this chapter is titled Hanami and Robico. Okay, I was thinking too deep into that. I was like, where are you going with this? Dang, you made me cry again. I was really uh, nervous, Ook. You really gave us a food for thought. But you know what? Seriously, SJWs, I will say this. Gachi Gorilla does give you some food for thought, doesn't he? Why don't you change yourselves before you want to ch before you try and change the world? <laughs> Maybe go take a trip down to the Delusion <laughs> Drive-In Theater, because, man, a lot of the projecting you do is um, definitely uh, worthy of being part of the Delusion Drive-In Theater, because it's double feature drive-in theater on a Saturday night levels of projecting up in here. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, you nailed it again, even though we made you do it with no notice. Uh, Gorilla should do it again. Oop, man. Um, I've been looking forward to it. Wait. Sorry, I've been looking forward to this. I can't believe you built on your self-reflection from last time and wrapped up and wrapped up in five minutes. Anyway, this is a great spot. A place with this many cherry blossoms and nobody around is a true hidden gem. I'm surprised you knew about it, Robico. Well, I did search all over Japan to find a spot for today. Wow, you went to that much trouble? Thanks, Robico. Huh? Didn't you say Mr. Uh, Serizawa was the one who... Whoa. Um, didn't you say Mr. Serizawa was the one who told you about it? I lied and I apologized. <laughs> that was a fast apology, too! Anyway, everybody was supposed to bring one potluck, di a potluck dish, right? What did everyone bring? What's wrong, guys? Master, please got to be a little more tactful. About what? Bondo, what goes right about this one? Right about what one? I'm not following this at all. Check yourself, man. Potluck is a test of everyone's instincts and taste. Potlucks involve instinct? Really? Maybe you didn't realize it because you let your uh, let me handle your contribution. Can't we just eat them normally? It's not that simple. What if the dish you brought ends up not being popular? What if it gets left until the end and you have to take it back home? Potlucks and pressure go hand in hand, but the flip side is that you have a chance to be a big hit. Uh, this feels like a, oh, this feels like overthinking to me. It's all gone. Yes. Say what? It's all gone. Um, Bono, don't tell me you uh, thought a uh, hanami is meant for simple enjoyment, or a hanami is a traditional uh, flower viewing party. I did. I still do. Am I wrong? But yeah, I guess if 
your taste is um, being tested, then there is some pressure. Especially if you're going first. That would take freakish po uh, power of will. I brought a salad. And there's a freak. Let's eat. Um, but a salad is a perfect appetizer. Uh, girls especially love them, so it'll probably go over well, right? A salad, I love it. Yeah, I gotta start with the salad. That's classic. And yet, a little chopstick moving is seen. That's 25 points to shun, um, Mitsugi. Yay! A rep oh, no! A referee! What's he doing here? This for a regular meal, a salad would be awarded full points. In this situation, it's a different story. Why? What's wrong with the salad? God, this is just making me think of my bat mitzvah all over again when we had, like, a potluck for, well, yeah, we had, like, a potluck for my bat mitzvah. God, I'm sold! To put it simply, they're a hassle. The effort of portioning them out and putting dressing on them is a huge disadvantage here. The question of how many leaves am I allowed to eat is tricky to- Really? It's not that difficult! Okay, I sort of get that, but still. Crap, I figured everybody else would bring main dishes, so I did a salad, but it backfired on me. Aww. It's, not, it's really not worth stressing it out about. No, when it comes to salad, the main thing you worry about is if you bring, like, fat-free dressing. At least for me, like, I would want to make sure there's fat-free dressing. Or low-fat dressing, because, um, there's people that are actually on diets that want to eat salad, and you don't put dressing on the salad that you bring because it's nasty, because the salad gets all nasty and gross. Just saying. Sorry, I didn't really think this through. I, I just brought some KFC! <laughs> I just brought some extra pot! I bet that's gonna bring his, his score down. Don't tell me you're a potluck veteran! It's okay! Dude, when, KFC is just like... You know what, when you bring KFC or like, um, or probably Popeyes would be more popular, but like when you bring shit like that, people always go nuts for it. It's easy to portion out, but it still feels special. A textbook potluck dish, really. So it's good then? But you didn't give enough thought to the hand messiness factor. Probably should have gone with boneless or extra crispy. I love it. I love you for this. That's 60 points to Jizuru uh, Mifune. Darn I had the courage to deviate from the norm. I'm completely fine. I'm completely fine with your KFC. Now I really want... No, I'm not going to eat KFC. I'm on a diet. I am going to make a spicy chicken wrap, though, that I have. Holy chicken wrap. Oh, my God, that sounds freaking amazing. I'm probably going to have that some diet froyo. Hey, I got to keep on losing weight because I'm going to cosplay again at some point. Well, when I get more money. Oh, God. I hate being poor. I brought sandwiches. Uh, that, um, that looks tasty. Uh, that looks so tasty. I brought in our, uh, I brought in sushi. I want sushi so bad. Oh my god, I haven't said sushi in years. Dig in. I brought some yakitori. Heck, the girls just went in the head and started. Let me have some of that salad, Shun. Huh? Oh sure. You should dig in too, Chizuru. Uh, yeah. Thank goodness things haven't gotten weird now. Um, uh, now we could just have a normal picnic. Come on, whip it out! The protag always goes last, ook. So I'm going last then. Scratch that, they're still at it! I brought yakisoba. I brought yakisoba, soba, ook. I brought some yakisoba. And they all brought yakisoba! Great minds, take a like! Give us time to stop fooling around and get to the main event. The main event? Anami picnics are all about the talent show. What? Really? I'm pretty sure nobody besides you uh, will have anything prepared. Well then... Welcome to the, uh, Matsumo <laughs> Wow! Matsumo Kaneo Super Magic Show! It was prepared! Oh my god, it was prepared for this! Now, I'll need an assistant. Are there any volunteers in the audience? He seems so natural. Has he done this before? Uh, I suppose I can give it a try. He's totally a player. What a terrible liar! She's really cute, though. Um, he's killing it up there! But... Matsuo is the exception. There's no way anybody else is ready for a top show. Moving right along. It's Manly Man Gorilla Gachi's, um, Taiko Drum Solo Ook. That's so cool! What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's do this. It can end, uh, end
end here for all I care. I can end here for all I care. It's not like anything's right on your Hanami performance, though. This is weird, right? Having a talent show isn't normal, right? Uh, maybe not. But Sean said we had to come up with something, so... What? They're doing one! Next up, we're gonna sing for you! Adorable! Darn, I had no idea a talent show was so crucial for Hanami! I'm the only one who did prepare anything! Don't worry, Master. Robocall? I prepared a special talent show act for two! What are you gonna do? You stopped me, that's for sure! Oh my god, maybe she's doing Kabuki? No! Kabuki maid! So, I'm Robocall the Kabuki maid, you know, the kind that blows up. But I know what you're thinking, that's Kablooey, not Kabuki, am I right, folks? Oh wait, this is a Kabuki. Is she doing stand-up? Woman, what are you doing? Great crowd today, though, really great. See, uh, Slay Queen. See, Slay Queen, we'll skip this guy. <sighs> Slay Sequin! Slay Sequin! What? <laughs> Slay Sequin! The fuck is this? <laughs> Sequin! What is this anyway? Skip this guy too! Put on the Queen at a five! You two are all gonna hilarious! This is so dumb! Rubika's act was surprisingly well received! Um, and afterward we kept having lots of fun! You didn't say Udo! What a great spring break it's been, Ook! Guess it's back to school tomorrow! That's right, spring break's over already! They're under the cherry blossoms in full bloom, surrounded by everybody's laughing voices for just a moment. I wish the day would never end! Bondo Tyra, age 11! As of tomorrow, I'm a sixth grader! Ah! So, we're gonna start sixth grade next week. This will be very interesting, but... Miyazaki, I want to force both you and protect, protect Mishikamaru, aka Daki Sensei, to go full blown stupid with this. I'm kind of, I'm kind of let down this week in the comedy department. There was some stupidity, but it didn't, it didn't make me live. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of let down by this. Stinks. I wanted more. I wanted to laugh more. Why, like, I wanted more jokes! Where were the jokes? Where were the jokes? There was, uh, I'm not gonna lie, there are some jokes, but... I wanted more jokes! And Protect Me Shukamaru was stupid, but it wasn't, it wasn't full, it wasn't like, balls to the balls, insane stupid. I would like, what I would love to see for me and Robico especially, is if we have, like, a spoof of um, Isekai Ochi, especially since Sonic is out in theaters right now. I would love a spoof of Isekai Ochi san up in me and Robocop. That would be bad as hell. And you could have like some Sonic and Tails realness up in here too. Oh god, I would just love a Sonic and Tails chapter. Oh my god, I need that. I would love a Sega chapter. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Damn it. Miyazaki, I want, I want some more. I want, I want more laughs. I want more jokes. I want more stupid. Like, come on, man. I need more stupid. I want to laugh more. I was hoping to laugh more because of what Goodbye Eerie did to me. I, mean, I didn't laugh as much as I thought I would. And I'm, I'm really let down by this. Next week, you better bring me the jokes. I want jokes. I want jokes. I want roasting of specific manga. I thought you were, you know what? I thought you were going to roast Blue Box this week, to be honest, because the, the, this is the one year anniversary of Blue Box. Why didn't you roast Blue Box? It's not even the time for it. You could have roasted Spike's family because of the anime. I'm surprised by that, too. Where was that? There's so many, there's so many jokes here that could have been done because of the timing, and I didn't get it. I'm mean, like, I'm, high, I'm really let down this week. I'm Robocop. I'm let down. And 
I, I want more from this manga. I'm very, very disappointed. I'm hoping we, we, we will get more. I want to see shenanigans. I want to see insanity. I want to see stupidity. And also, I'm very surprised we haven't gotten any Zatch Bell jokes out of you since the sequel manga started not too long ago. Why haven't we gotten any Zatch Bell jokes? We shall wait and see what direction we're going to go in at some point. We'll wait. We will await with bated breath for more jokes. I just want more. I want more. There's so much roasting that can be done. Also, like, Akamatsu running for office. Why aren't you going in? Why aren't you doing something on that? You could do some commentary on that. You could do some commentary on, like, the attempted criminalization of manga and anime. You could do that stuff. Like, there's so many jokes that could be made. It's so much commentary. Like, I want more. Ah! So much that could be done. But it is not being done, and I'm, I'm very let down by this. But we'll see what Miyazaki does. We will see. I can only hope that we will get more jokes. And I will laugh. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. What did you guys think of this chapter? This chapter was okay. It just didn't give me what I wanted it to give. There have been so many, you could have done undead on love jokes because of uh, the cherry blossom view, the cherry blossom stuff um, in Undead and Luck with Spring. Why didn't we get that? There could have been undead on love jokes in here. You could have had like some spring stuff up in here. I'm kind of let down. I've done so much with this Miyazaki and I'm very let down by this. Anyways, very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and, kittens, uh, alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more me and Robo Co. content, a few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, we'll be seeing you later. Bye.